And in Cohen v. California, it's interesting to see how the justices managed to avoid uttering the vulgar phrase that got Mr. Cohen into such trouble. Some guy holding up a sign that says, shit is fucked up and stuff or something. <laughs> it wasn't obscene because it didn't have any prurient or erotic component. It also didn't constitute fighting words because, while distasteful, it wasn't likely to provoke a violent reaction, nor was it an insult directed toward any particular person. How's it going? Are you doing okay, sir? You're just not going to answer? All right, you have the right to remain silent. And of course, this is probably the most famous part of the Fifth Amendment. We're getting reports that your signs have profanity. Can I check them to make sure that they don't? And then I'll, you can stand here all day long if you want to. No, thanks. You won't let me look at your signs just to make sure there's not any profanity on them? Please. No, thanks. If you are, if you are holding up signs, for the public to see the half profanity, then yes, you are doing something illegal. But Harlan argued that protection of sensitive persons alone could not overcome Cohen's right to communicate his message, even by use of offensive language. I'm just trying to make sure that you, all I want to do is make sure that what I've been told is not what's on your signs. A little bit. Yeah, no thanks. So, what do your other signs say, sir? What do your other signs say, sir? Sir, what do your other signs say? What am I doing? Okay, can I see your other signs? No, look at my student wear. Sir, we've got a complaint of you out here holding up profanities. Okay. Okay, if you don't let me look at your sign, I'll take you in custody for disorderly conduct. At a funeral for a fallen soldier, a group of churchgoers gathered nearby to sing hymns and recite Bible verses. These worshipers, however, were not there to mourn or pay their respects. They were there in protest. Members of the Westboro Baptist Church organized a picket to protest the funeral of a Marine killed in the line of duty in Iraq. The protesters displayed signs that included slogans like, Thank God for Dead Soldiers, God Hates the USA, and Thank God for IEDs. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. This is offensive to people that are driving by and families is that, that are driving by. Law? Yes. Yes, it's disorderly yes. conduct. It's disorderly, it's disorderly conduct. conduct. Can you read that to me? It's disorderly conduct. Okay. Give your idea. Offended viewers could easily avert their eyes if they didn't want to see it. The First Amendment protects people and they can say stuff like that. As long as they're not inciting a riot, or a breach of peace, then uh, they're they're perfectly fine. And when I was there, there was no breach of peace, sir. Okay. Okay. And what did you say your name was, sir? My name is Officer Rogers. The court argued that in a society as diverse and populous as the United States, the free exchange of ideas, even offensively expressed ideas, is a virtue worthy of First Amendment protection. Okay. Give your ID on you. No. Okay. Now you're filling the ID. What does Texas law say? Statute 38.02 of the Texas Penal Code reads, it's against the law to refuse to give your name, address, or date of birth to an officer, but only if the person refuses after they're arrested. Do you have your ID on you? No. Okay, now you're filling the ID. I don't have Put, put your hands right here. Your ID on no. Now you're filling the ID. I don't have Put your hands behind your back. complaint and you and you refuse to identify yourself that is a crime
Texas Penal Code 38.02, failure to identify. A person commits an offense if he intentionally refuses to give his name, residence, address, or date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person and requested the information. In 1984, Gregory Lee Johnson participated in a protest of the Republican National Convention. Outside the Dallas City Hall, Johnson doused an American flag with kerosene and set it on fire. The court concluded that flag burning is expressive conduct protected by the First Amendment. Hey, she got a letter. 